This dazzling display of dancing light and color is the birth and death of a solar flare. The green represents the hottest plasma at more than 10 million degrees Kelvin. The red is between 1 and 10 million Kelvin, and the violet is the cooler plasma, which is still close to 1 million degrees K. Sometimes the sun just builds up a lot of energy, which is just released in a very short time, and the solar flares essentially these very intense magnetic energy release. Matthias Rempel, a solar scientist with NCAR, teamed up with Lockheed Martin to create this very complicated simulation. He says the sun is so big and so deep and has so many different densities that Previous simulations could only replicate portions of a solar flare separately. Rempel said the goal was to push the modeling as far as they could, pouring as much physics data into NCAR's supercomputer as possible. But to capture the entire life cycle of a solar flare in a single comprehensive model is something even he wasn't sure would happen. I pretty much got surprised by myself that we actually were able to push it that far. In this simulation, Rempel says we are watching about the last hour of the whole powerful process they captured. They are explosive. I mean, the, it takes really hours to several days to build up the energy, but then really the energy release in the flare happens on the time scale of a minute. They used data from an actual solar flare that happened in 2014 to run this simulation. The sun is currently in a low point of solar activity called a solar minimum, but Rempel says now that they know it can be done, the next step will be to model a solar flare as it begins in real time. So when the sun is ready to become active again, we are ready to also model it. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.